And now time for a chat with Kunal Kapoor. So this actor believes in taking his own time before signing every film. And that's probably the reason why he's done just about six films in six years. An extremely slow pace by Bollywood standards. But when not filming, Kunal chooses to further some social causes that he's very passionate about. So Kunal, tell me uh, what brings you to Delhi this time around? Well, I'm here for the film festival eat. Uh, I think this is a really, really important film festival because a number of uh, really big filmmakers like Meera Nair, Gabriel Garcia, Jane Campion have come together and made short films about uh, uh, issues that are really, really important right now. And uh, I think cinema has this magical ability that it can reach out to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So when cinema comes forward and uh, propagates the social cause, I think, you know, the effect of it can be far reaching. So in 2000, uh, about 190 countries got together and they said that by 2015 we'd, we'd achieve certain goals, whether it was in child mortality, whether it was education, poverty. And uh, it's 2010 now and we're really far away from those goals. Right. And uh, all these countries are meeting again in New York now soon in the next couple of days. So it's very important that we come forward and we make enough noise. And we say that, you know, we're really far away from meeting those goals and uh, that uh, we create a certain sort of awareness so that these goals are met. And many of such issues are being addressed at the 8th Film Festival through the works of various well-known filmmakers. And incidentally, Kunal's last film, Lamha, too dealt with a similar issue, the ongoing political conflict in Kashmir. Okay, coming to your films, we last saw you in Lamha. Yeah. Right, what next? Well, next I start shooting for a film called Dawn 2. Mm -hmm. uh, we're all off to Berlin next month. Right. Uh, we're shooting for Dawn 2, so yeah. With Shahrukh. Yeah. Excited? I'm really excited, yeah. yeah. You're also playing a superhero in Doga. Well, yeah, superhero. That, that's a little far away and uh, uh, I've got Anurag to promise me that I'm not going to wear my underwear outside. <laughs> I think that that will be a first and that'll be a good one. But I believe you you have to put on like 25 kgs for the road. Well, yes, yeah. Are yeah. you going to manage that? It's going to I be have task. no idea. <laughs> it's going to be a task. Yeah. It's going to be rather difficult, but uh, I'm up for it. And uh, uh, Anurag called me last week and he said that... Uh, it's very important that we forget that we're friends now. Uh, <laughs> we're friends for, yeah, we've been friends for a while, but let's forget that we're friends now. Right. And uh, I'm going to be a slave master now. So hopefully he's going to push me enough so that I can put on that weight. Sure. Okay, looking at your filmography, you've done about three films with Yashraj, hmm. one with uh, Sham Benigal, even hmm. with uh, Rakesh and Prakash Mehra. Yet we haven't seen a film that is essentially a Kunal Kapoor film. Hmm. Why is that? Well, you know, I haven't got scripts that have uh, excited me enough. I mean, there's enough scripts that come, come across that are... Uh, solo lead films mm -hmm. but they're scripts that I haven't found in interesting enough I've always been for me what's really important is the role and uh, uh, strangely is the role in you know whether it's a supporting part those are the parts that have interested me up till now mm -hmm. but I think that's about to change now because uh, a lot of films that I'm doing up next are, are films that are the conventional solo lead films right. so uh, that will change soon yeah. you're doing a romantic comedy that's the first I'm doing a romantic comedy yeah that's yeah. a that's a first for me yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, somehow you've always been associated to like a dark, young, brooding kind of character. Was that by chance or design? Well, I think uh, it has to do with the fact that I have long hair, I had a beard and I s don't smile so much. So <laughs> people think he's brooding and he's intelligent. Right. And uh, they're sort of wrong on both counts. <laughs> <laughs> so. But you don't look conventionally Bollywood. You think you're okay with being called unconventional or you would like to change that? Oh, no, no, I, I wouldn't change that for the world. I think, uh, you know, when I started off, there was a lot of people that... Uh, a lot of uh, directors that I met that said that, you know, you have to change, uh, beef up, beef up, and you yeah. know you should you should look a certain way because that's how a Hindi film hero should look. That's right. And uh, for me, that didn't make sense at all. Uh, I believe that uh, actors should all have their own distinct personalities, and uh, that's what you bring. And if everybody starts looking the same and behaving the same, uh, no then fun. then there's no fun, you know.